actually expecting it to hurt a lot more. Uh, uh, yeah, I was a little scared to get, a, get hit from behind when I finally did uh, the first time. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It seemed like you, you know a lot of the guys over there pretty well, a couple of them anyway. Was it, was it fun to play against them? Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I don't Oh, I thought a couple of those guys came up to you at the end there. Oh, no, they're just, they're just telling me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Nelson, uh, your thoughts on um, seeing Stefan go down. And again, he's been a warrior all season. Yeah. But um, how did it change things for you guys when he went out? Um, I mean, to start, I saw him limping around. I was like, oh, he's all right. He'll come back. And then I got taken out to the locker room. And, you know, Kate has to come in. And, um, you know, he's... To his credit, he's been prepared. Like, but for me, honestly, I don't know what's going through his head half the time. But uh, he he came in and did his job, and he didn't even more. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see what he can do these next two weeks. For either of you, did Sefo say anything to you privately or <coughs> to the group after he got hurt? Uh, he told me uh, to stay calm. Uh, I know you're prepared, so you don't have an excuse. Yeah, he was in my ear the whole time, and you know, just keep Cade going, keep him focused, and uh, you know, he'd be quick and get open quickly because we don't have a lot of time. Just stuff like that. Nelson, you said you're excited to see what he can do the next two weeks. Does that mean you guys are not planning on having Seppo the rest of the way? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. That's what I thought. I might be different. I don't, I don't really know the diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Nelson, what was your reaction to getting the Buffalo Heart Award? It means a lot to me. Um, you know, I've accomplished a lot here, but that's right there with, that's up there with, you know, everything else I've accomplished just because I kind of pride myself on being that guy that just comes to work every day. Um, is a tough player and just sets that example for the team. And the fact that the fans recognize that and I got that award means a bunch. You know. What were you feeling coming <coughs> off the field for the last time? Um, I was sad, obviously. You know, um, from the minute I stepped on the field, you know, I was just trying to enjoy every minute of it tonight. Um, and it was a great night to be out there, you know, blackout game on ESPN. Um, and running out behind Ralphie for the last time, it's, it's, it was pretty emotional for me seeing my family out there. They were crying lunch, so it was, it was a special night, and I definitely cherished it. Nelson, to have this one end so similar to so many other games on this field, does it hurt even more that it's your last time? Yeah, um, just because I was talking about this week, like just getting that signature win, kind of, and to, that'll be like my memorable moment here. But and it was right there, you know. But this, you know, it's kind of been the story of the season. We're just not able to finish. Um, so yeah, it, being my last game is definitely one that I wanted, even that much more. So it, it does hurt a little bit. Does it hurt knowing that you guys can't get above five hundred now, too? Yeah, um, you know, the bowl game was our goal, I think, starting out in the season, but, you know, six and seven, it's, if we can get to that, it doesn't, um, you know, we're not totally out of the bowl game, you know, depending on how that scenario plays out, but, um, you know, we're just going to try to, you know, take it week by week for these next two. What was Coach McIntyre's message to you guys in the locker room? <coughs> um, I mean, just these games that we've, having, we've been having, we were so close, we're not able to finish, you know, it's just doing a little extra during the week. You know, so we got to start holding each other accountable for these last two weeks that we show up to meetings. You know, we're focused, we're locked in, we're doing all our lists because, you know, we're obviously not doing enough just to put us over the edge. So we got to <coughs> figure something out. Um, like I said, just do that little extra to, you know, try to get us there. You know, so was that, I mean, how frustrating was this one? Because it, it was 17-3, and you yeah. guys were in complete control of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, um, seeing it go, I think we had like 24 on answer. So, um, yeah, it hurt. That's it. Is it the same thing that keeps kind of uh, keeping you guys from getting over the hump, or is it something different every week? I mean, what? I mean, I would just say we don't know what it takes, you know, to finish a game off. It's because we've been so we've been so close, and we haven't had that game where we finish. I mean, we already paid kind of, but you know, we're playing a good team like USC, and like we had against UCLA. <coughs> Um, you know, I don't think you know like what it what that one thing is. Like, yeah. Kid, it did seem like though that you guys were uh, close to unraveling when it got to twenty seven seventeen, and then Nelson gets the punt return to get you guys right back in it. How big was that play, and then the touchdown right after that? Oh, it was um, just 
kind of move. Uh, I expected to maybe get the ball like 50 yard line or whatever around there, and I just never caught it. And then I looked down to talk to someone, and then I looked back up. It was already inside the 10, and uh, uh, obviously made, made made my job getting the ball in the end zone a little bit easier. So. Seems like they really loaded up the blitz on you in the second half. Was there an adjustment to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was still getting the ball out a little bit quicker, uh, ran a little quicker plays, um, and a quicker pass plays. And, uh, uh, yeah, there were some protection checks uh, that, I was, that I was told to make. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Last fourth down play, uh, the long pass. What, what was called? What were you looking for there? Uh, well, it was a shovel. It was that shovel play that uh, went uh, before. The end came up, and I was just uh, I was trying to uh, pitch it in. Donovan was getting held, and then I uh, got, got a little panicky and, <laughs> and I had to dish it out. And, uh, honestly, I probably should have just taken off, but uh, I just got to keep going. Uh, Knowing that you could be the starter now, Kate, how does your preparation change going into you know the next week here? Um, it'll definitely intensify a hundredfold. Uh, I mean, I was always studying film, watching film. Now I definitely, it'll definitely be more film, more questions, uh, just much more focused. And you feel like you're ready to have your leadership and uh, have your team accomplish the goals you guys are out to seek? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, since the Stanford game, the last play time, uh, it's a lot more, a lot more confident in myself, uh, in the playbook, and all that stuff. Nelson, was there a message to the seniors from the coaches after the game? No, he didn't address it. It was, I mean, the theme during the week was, you know, obviously get this last win for us at home, um, but he didn't really address it after the game. Okay, can you explain your progression this year? It looks like you started the season third on the depth chart. You've moved up to second and possibly first from here on out. Uh, just hard work, really. Um, uh, start of the season, I had to get my, my, priority, my priorities straight, excuse me. Ever since I think it's gonna fall in place and hard work pays off, really. Any more questions for these two?